Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to make a pop can pen. It's supposed to be kind of like um, a ruling pen, a calligraphy pen, and I had a video on my Instagram where I was doing the title artwork for the mother movie because I really loved the lettering so I wanted to try it myself. And I had a handmade ruling pen that my husband made me that was perfect for the job. So. I'm going to show you how he made it and it's really easy, he didn't come up with it, I didn't come up with it. I will link to the tutorial that we used to figure it out. It's a really good tutorial, um, it's just on someone's website and it's pretty funny too so make sure you go check it out. You'll also be able to download the template that you can print at home to trace out the actual nib for the pop can. So again, that link will be in the description box below. So you will need some tools for this job. Um, most of them will be around your house. But first, we have the printable template from the link that I'm providing uh, from somebody else's tutorial. And it has three different size nibs. I'm only going to do one. And then you're going to need some tape. Uh, you're going to need the duct tape and some masking tape, a pop can, a dowel. You could probably get this at Home Depot and um, it should be around like the same size as a pen or marker. You'll need some scissors and also a knife. So first thing we're gonna do is cut the can open. I'm gonna start by poking a hole with the knife in the can. Please be very very careful. Wear gloves if you have them. Just uh, be sure to be precautious because the edges will be very, very sharp and could cut you. So, warning, be very careful. I'm just cutting around the edge of the pop can now. It's taking me quite a while because it's, it's not that easy. Um, I did figure out that if I just turned it around and faced the blade the other way, it was a little bit simpler because then the blade wasn't going towards the middle but towards the outside. So just keep cutting until you finish that side and then just go ahead and do the exact same thing on the other end. Again, be very, very careful. The edges are very, very sharp. So once you've cut out the ends of the can, you're going to want to cut a line down the middle. So I just kind of was looking for a place that would be a good spot to cut the line down the middle maybe where I cut out the most from the top and the bottom so just cut a straight line so we can open it up and flatten it out you'll see that it's really curly because it was in the pop can shape so to flatten this out I'm actually gonna put it in my oven and you can set it at 500 or broil. So I put it on broil and I just left it in there for 10 minutes. So now it's out and make sure you let it cool because it will be hot. So now I'm cutting out the smallest nib size from the printable template. And this is what you're gonna use to um, cut out of the pop pan to make the actual nib of your pen. Okay, so just find a good spot on the pop can that's not too dented and you want to work with the curl of the pop can. So that's why I'm facing it up and down the pop can. And then I just taped it down with some washi tape so it will be easy to take the tape off. And I'm just going over the outside with a black sharpie. So now I'm going to cut out the nib. There are two ways to do this, the way that's suggested and then the way I did it. So I just went ahead and cut out the entire shape, um, but there is a way that the person with the pop can tutorial suggested and they suggested to use a hole punch to punch a hole where the nib kind of goes in. And that just makes sure that since that's the weakest point, it just kind of doesn't give it that harsh edge that could possibly tear. So to do it properly, I just 
cut out a rectangle and then you would hole punch where it goes in in the middle and then you'd cut out the rest um, and it should look like this whenever you're done no matter which way you did it and so now I'm going to grab a piece of the duct tape and I guess maybe make it like five inches long um, the one I cut out was a little bit too long and then I placed the metal nib flat on the duct tape just so that it lines up with the edge of the skinny part of the nib and just make sure the tape is totally flat and try and get it as straight as possible so when you roll it up it doesn't get doesn't go in any funny direction and then I place the dowel on the very edge of the nib and then curled the nib around the dowel so I can roll it over on the tape Just make sure to keep it steady and kind of shape the nib a little bit so it rolls a bit easier. Also you want to make sure that it's nice and tight so that it doesn't move when you're writing. So now I'm just cutting off some of the excess because I made the tape strip too long. And you'll want to grab some type of scoring tool so you can score the inside crease of the nib. So I just grabbed my tool from my Cricut and then I just took it and kind of like wrote down the center of it so that it just has a sharper edge. And now you'll want to make that curved pen shape. So you could cut out the template and then trace it again, but I'm just going to do it freehand it kind of has like a knife like shape so just draw that on with the sharpie and then cut out the shape after you've drawn it try your best to make it very very smooth because this is the edge that will be writing on the paper with the ink so now you're pretty much done. The last thing recommended is to light the tip of your pen on fire. It won't really light on fire, but to heat it up with a match or a lighter. And this just makes it a little bit stiffer. But you want to make sure you have a cup of water handy so that after putting it under the fire for, I don't know, like 20 seconds, you can just shove it in the cup of water right away. Okay, and that's it. There's your pen. So now you can make some really cool, kind of edgy, unpredictable calligraphy. And if you find out that you really love it, they do sell these real pens, not the DIY ones. So you could always grab one of those if you got a little bit more serious about it. Thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a like and subscribe for more.